Hi, this is Shamin here. Today I'm going to teach you structure of neuron. So what is neuron? Well, tissue that can receive stimulus from the environment and can transmit accordingly to make an appropriate response is called nervous tissue. And nervous tissue is composed of many nerve cells or neurons. So the neuron is the basic functional unit of the nervous system. All right. So, so yeah, I'll take a pencil. And so it's the two part. All right. The neuron is made up of two parts. One that is cell body. So you can see this is uh, this part is cell body. All right. And another part that is elongated part. So this part is elongated part all right so and first i will start with cell body all right so cell body the part of the neuron which contains a nucleus and cytoplasm and remains bounded by plasma membrane and is round and this is oval or or, or you can say star shaped is known as a cell body and the cytoplasm contains uh, here mitochondria golgi body lysosome fat acid fat sorry and glycogen all right uh, so and next uh, this is elongated part this is another part uh, part of neuron so elongated part a variable number of uh, number of um, nerve fibers extends from the cell body which are called elongated part and elongated part are two types dendron and axon all right so dendrite here you can see so let's see another picture here so there are small brands so you can see this is this is small brands you can see elongations around the cell body so this is a cell body all right and there is a it's hair like it's like a hair all right called dendrons and the branches coming out from the dendron are called dendrite so this is dendrite here and uh, the number of dendrites in a cell body may be from zero to more than 100 and dendrites receive stimuli uh, from other nerves and uh, next uh, this is um, this is nucleus you can see here all right and axon so now i'm going to talk about axon all right so a long extension originates from the cell body called axon so a thin layer encloses the axon called the neurilemma all right so there is a fatty layer between the neurilemma so this is called nose of ranvier this part all right and here axon terminal here and this is cell body you know already so so here yeah. so there is a fatty layer between the neurilemma and the axon and is called the myelin so here so here you can see this is a myelin first you need to understand the uh, diagram this is really important so the end part of the axon is divided into axon terminals and terminals uh, are sends uh, impulses to the dendrites uh, to other neurons all right so here is the dendrites so uh, the neurilemma is not continuous generally so it's interrupted at regular intervals and there there is a direct connection of neurilemma and axon at the interrupted parts so here you can see this is axon here and this part if i will cut it so you can see this is you know, look like that here is axon part and here is a neurofibrils all right neurofibrils neuro lemon seed this this part is layer like that 
all right so let's see another picture here so this is um this is nervous uh this is a uh, nerve impulses so uh here a liquid this is uh you can see this part is a liquid oh sorry this part all right so this is a liquid so this is called neurotransmitters neurotransmitters a liquid is present in the synapse called neurotransmitter all right and nerve impulses are transmitted from one neuron to another by crossing synapse and uh, through these uh, these nerve impulses or stimuli travel in one direction only and in human brain are nearly hundred billions of neurons uh, hundred billions of neurons and each neuron is connected to seven or uh, to ten thousand neuron through synapses so this is axon terminal here and this is um, post synaptic neuron here and synaptic cleft and here is a pre synaptic neuron here all right so so yeah so you need to practice some diagram you need to draw and level and uh, practice all right so the main function of nerve is to conduct nerve impulses so what do you mean by that well sensory neurons receives stimulation to receptors and transmit it to the brain all right so it's go that way and um and then motor neurons uh, send those those impulses from the brain to affectors so guys i hope that's all thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe educate to shaman channel and if you need more class go to my website www.educatorbiology.simplesite.com uh, my website you just go there and book a child class this is important so yeah that's all thank you very much guys